My living room! You broke my house. I saw a spider, so I threw a table at it. It survived. It survived, so I threw a cabinet. This continued. The spider escaped. I assure you, I intend to track it down. Fate abridged. Which, by definition, everyone should watch. Please support the official release. Including, but not limited to, the original. It is fabulous. It will be necessary reading or watching for you and your loved ones in order to comprehend the full tapestry of events. Some of the illusions derived by Frazzo Volu facilitates the abuse theme, which is sold contracts, systemically stacking on the black market, deriving the compelled fate by the wizard communists engaged in the kidnapping or the enforcement of narratives, which rates false justifications towards behaviors having laundered the crimes in the black market by these fake excuses derived by the illusion realm from Frazo Bulu, who arranged it all for the specific incorporation of the sacrifice of condemned souls that being good are merely more delicacies in their devouring, creating the stages of corruption by which they are infused by the embodiment of that abuse theater. And the illusion fearing reality is allergic to any investigation or reference to the original values being tainted by the enforcement of the illusion for the white supremacist communism. To this extent, the violent opposition and separations and punishments and retaliations are specifically derived by the chaotic evil mess that is those that worship at its support. And to this end, you manufacture your own specific demise by cooperating with it, and thus they have made it a thing that must not be referred to as any challenge by reality against the illusion means that their actions weren't somebody else's actions means by definition that the kidnapping function is not able to engage in the frames so when lindsey graham's kidnapping scheme for the white supremacists to steal government equipment in order to conduct these terrorisms by the surveillance powers from the secret powers which they are barring from the courts permanently defrauds the courts by the absence of the baseline narratives of those targeted to have their roots cut out that they might not change society and thus challenge as a primary rival or series of rivals to the white supremacist communism which essentially planned status and resources for all of the contracts, similar to historically when people from the black community had created patents that were stolen by white supremacists and became quite wealthy from them as the blacks were robbed and given hardly anything except the stewing and their suffering. The legitimizing of this function as to prevent the remedy from confederate activity makes the permanent state of this racism normalized as an accepted systemic function. And thus, it is not a bug, it is a feature, as long as you tolerate the infection, which is highly encouraged by the parasites infecting it and thus the rewriting of history justifies itself under its own pretense of fruit of the poison tree, diluting reality into nonsense, as all will become socialist, and being socialist, all will become the same, and all becoming the same, all will collapse into the gooey ooze that is fated to all who have accepted the depths of the abyss. So the systems must be created 
for the shard of pure evil as an advancement. And according to the induction of the immaculate meaning, generates a pretense for their creation of the Antichrist, which generates their embodiment for power, which creates the inverse power, which allows them upon the ascension through the ritual of creating the Antichrist to the maturity of destroying a primary world, generates the additional diversive powers so that when the faceless lord created by Frazoburu is dropped to acquire the shard of pure evil, he might attain it and the powers redirect in the fracturing as well as the consequences and costs are redirected in the fracturing and thus the costs created in the fracturing is plagued upon the world that is being conquered by the revelation creation the creation of the apocalypse on the material plane and this generates the hypercentralizing of the power for the interest of Frazo Bolu, who owning his mechanisms is newly enriched in power for his new domain and its magic spells that he can create from these material components growing ever more powerful in its saturation the more he can mine all of its variations in conquering the domains of the abyss as the new hell to rival asmodeus the lord of lies who banned him from hell and thus you understand the self-reflective nature of cause and effect this generates the ultimate question. What wins, deceits or lies? The irony being that the Lord of Lies as Modius, having killed and erased the forgotten God, had been subverted in this attempt, or could be subverted in this attempt, by the resurrection through the Antichrist ritual, rebirthing him, generating the power to retaliate against his subversions and treacheries, and thus treason having been incarnate might be paid in full. So you understand that this intertwined fracturing of reality and shattering of reflections generates the contemptuous position in contests in the material world for fighting over IP worlds, and thus the mechanism of being able to express the artistic whims of the original contracts and its needs according to realities obligations to itself requires their acceptance and subordination to the paper trading, which allows them to take the short-term loss for the long-term profits of the finalized version once the accounts have been settled. And if doing so would have complied to their own long-term prosperity, as opposed to the function of it being a takeable function, as the communist arrangement making it a theft from another piece would have owed itself to the other piece and dissolved its right to exist generating its immediate evaporation upon the restoration of the rule of law in the prime material plane those that love the thing must give it up or it will be lost forever and those that give it up will get to keep it for all time. When you understand this, the function of 
the illusions generating plays, such as fan fictions, such as the abuse they did, is the interest of drawing negative imagery on a picture that you don't like for the representation or misrepresentation or slander of a person that you don't like. You generate horns or fangs or make them look fatter. You distort the picture by drawing on it, and thus you create a characterization which generates a straw man argument, which generates the mechanism of an entire play or series of skits. And to this extent, you generate its infinite variations, and said it is merely a play, you can replace infinitum whoever acts out each part. And to the extent that they are capable of acting out each part, they express the desired show, which, if the point is to be defective, creates bad art, which is the specialty of the Confederacy, who worships this function of deception, creating their communism, and thus all will become socialist ooze. And to that end, the generation of the rituals is the mechanisms of those actors creating improv scenes and their improvisation to be able to conduct each function demonstrates their capacities in each variation and thus the function of their ability to engage in the replacement by those improvisations requires them to be able to represent the character in the success to have demonstrated that they are competent for the role and thus be able to play it, and thus, in this example, be competent in the replacement of the party concerning the thing, because they were not insufferably pathetic or acquire a failing grade, generating negative critical reviews, and thus the critics, not being able to condemn it, certify the passing of the replacement, legitimizing the higher standards of low standards derived by the white supremacist communism for the restructuring of society. Now, the investigation of the truth is not something that the truth cares about, but the investigation of an illusion is something that the illusion cares about, and thus the standard function of the creation of illusionary positions of power and ability and competence derivative of the unique and special exclusively for the unique and special creates the humiliation by that ritual play and thus the mechanism of the capacity to replace them on the ability to have played a small portion of the thing without the functional support of its data in the studies mechanizing the stabilization of the function allowing for the dramatic scene variants to be able to be the expressed improvisation generating the position of their better support structure for the scene as opposed to the reality generates the position of the false replacement for the white supremacy and the defense of the illusion of those that have not earned the position generates the reinforcement of this position having acquired it by cutting in line from that fraud, view the investigation of their inferiority by the same place to be abhorrent and obstructive towards their end goals of being able to sustain their thefts, and thus barring of the position. And to this extent, it is the equivalent of someone who gets a ladder to climb into a barn, and then takes up the ladder so that no one else can climb up. The guarantee that no one else can do the same, the barring of all challenges, is the fear of the rivals. And the old saying goes, absolute power corrupts absolutely, is foolish on its face, as the position of power is not significant to itself. It just reveals. Power reveals. Money reveals accessibility reveals it does not corrupt it shows the truth and to this extent the truth is that competition requires stress and stress requires easy ways of getting out of things 
which encourages the revealing of the truth of their inferiority, expressed through their cheating or corruption, and thus the act of their corrupting themselves is not the act of creating corruption, but the act of revealing that they were never fit for the thing and were always going to fail, as they are corrupt, the revealing of the power by the competition creates the proof, creates the test, creates the grade they fail. And to the mechanism then comes the power challenged by a rival creates corruption. And thus the action of it having a justification to reveal that it is already corrupt shows the corruption that already exists, having materialized itself by having dropped the illusion or pretense that it was fit for the role it knew it did not qualify for, which exponentially compounds on itself the more you use these white supremacist mechanisms of unearned superiority, which having stuffed itself with the corrupt, would only be revealed as being unfit upon the stress. Take, for instance, the mechanism of creating Paul Atreides from Dune, the Bene Gesserit generating their exponential powers, giving birth to a male child, is problematic and forbidden. And thus the mechanism of that male child being ignored so that it can be manifest into a noble house, giving him vast wealth and fortune for his power to be manufactured as an additional conduit of his Jesuit powers, being the functional foundation for their Antichrist ritual. And, as Revelation says, that there are three and a half years of peace by the Antichrist until he is overpowered by the spirits, requiring the normalization of, and the vulnerability to, having been captured by another party. And to this extent, the ritual would have normalized other people having control over the body by the various secret equipment provided by the demons and the devils. And to the extent that the equipment has been provided, the justification of the ease by corruption to take it over and to extort it for their advantages as an infinite money glitch or an infinite influence glitch or what other value that they would want from the deal with the devil, that they would be provided it, and having done so, normalize the ritual behavior, which ultimately will destroy them all. And this would generate normal extortions, and the normal extortions would hyper be accelerated to the advantage of the ritual. And thus, the crimes would be sold as a necessary component, having laundered the ritual into those who are systemically disconnected from it being a ritual, normalizing it under the pretense with the fake excuse that it is not the ritual, because that's not why they want it. It is, however, why they were chosen. And thus the action of the definition of the characteristics of the Antichrist would systemically be normalized in these ritual abuses for their extortions, generating their infinite power glitch as they absorb it for the mass generation of the blight derived by having sucked the life out of everything around the ritual area and all systems directly connected to it as a conduit of the fluctuation of that power. Now add the judicial activism or equipment of time travel.
then generate all of its ritual components by the reverting back into time, putting all of the fractured aspects back together for the permanent imprinted reflection, having been turned into a collage or painting derivative of their masterpiece, shows their fractured horrors in its appropriate place, having been reconstructed according to that puzzle, generates to themselves their restructed person, who, being entirely under the power of Satan, is merely a body conducting the spirit of Satan, materializing the horrors for the world. And this is how Frazubulu will reintroduce himself to that plane. And thus the material plane, having received the suction of his entity through this generates the materialization of his full induction into power, generating unlimited restraints on all others.